All right, I wanted to share a little bug that I found with the TI-36X Pro. Great little calculator. I recommend it to my students. Um, I it, it's, it does a lot of things that the fancy graphing calculators do, except it doesn't graph. Um, but it also only cost about 20 bucks, you know, 20, 25 bucks. So it's a great little calculator uh, for the price. But... Um, I, I was going through and looking at some of the menu items and found uh, a feature that is kind of cool, uh, which is converting from degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit, and there's other temperature conversions that are in there as well. Uh, and, you know, this is our formula from, for converting for, from degrees Celsius into Fahrenheit. Very easy formula to use, but if you want, you can use this function that's built in. Uh, and let me show you how it works. So... If you type in 100 second, convert, and then you choose the second menu item, and then you just kind of scroll over and find where the degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit is, and put enter, you will get this little function that comes up, and when you hit enter, it will convert it to the correct number. Great little feature, and, uh, and so we we can uh, uh, we can use that function to do a quick conversion if you don't want to set up a formula or whatever whatever so kind of handy uh, to do uh, another nice feature I like about this calculator is that you can go up and grab a function that you've already typed in and then edit it so I'll type in four and then I'm going to delete one of those zeros and you'll see we get 104 which is also the correct answer all right here let's do let's do another one this is average body temperature 37 degrees Celsius comes out to 98.6 degrees Celsius so normal uh, average body temperature um, and then we'll do a typical room temperature which is 25 degrees Celsius all right and that is uh, 77 uh, degrees Fahrenheit so I guess it depends on what room you're in, right? And then uh, we do zero. We, we also don't have any trouble here. All right, comes out to 32 degrees Celsius. Although using the formula, that, that would have been pretty obvious. That's going to be the y-intercept if you were to graph this on a, on a piece of graph paper. Here's where the trouble was, is when we get to the negative numbers, uh, so if we type in negative one, zero, second, convert, true, that menu item. All right, so we've got the function set up for negative 10. We hit enter. We clearly don't get the correct answer. We should get 14, not negative 50. Now, just looking at this, it, it's easy to figure out what the calculator is doing. The calculator is taking 10 degrees Celsius, converting it into Fahrenheit, and then making it negative. So 10 degrees Celsius comes out to 50 degrees Fahrenheit. But negative 10 is not negative 50. That's not how that works. So I found two workarounds for this. One of the workarounds is to use parentheses. So parentheses negative 10, close parentheses, and then go grab the function from the menu. All right, and you'll see that gives us the correct answer. So that, that works fine. And we can try it with these other things. We get the rest of our list here. All right, so negative 4, you see it, it does go into the negative there. And then we'll do negative 40. And, of course, negative 40, you may or may not know this, negative 40 is the one place where the uh, where the Fahrenheit scale and the and the Celsius scale come up with this cr the same number, so negative forty is going to give us negative forty. All right, the other the other workaround for this is to type the number in. So there's negative ten, and then hit enter, and that stores it into memory in the stack, and then you can uh, and then you can call up your function. And you call the function up it'll just take whatever the answer is and when it does that it includes that negative number so we hit enter and we'll, we'll get the correct answer there so it's a little bug um, 
and uh, it doesn't affect the other functions because uh, most of the other conversion functions that are in there don't have the issue where you're going from a negative number to the positive number for the same value on different scales. So this is just a unique uh, uh, temperature issue when you're doing conversions. So, all right.